Hello everyone, it's Meat Skelton with another vlog chat for you. Merry Christmas! It's the third day of Christmas. This is the day when we get three French hens. <laughs> How exciting! Um, oh, before I start, I would like to give a shout out to all my Patreon subscribers, all two of them. Thank you all so much. You don't you don't realize how much it means to me. Um, that little extra money that you give on Patreon really helps me. And if you haven't subscribed to my Patreon, I'll put the link below and let me explain where all that moolah goes, okay? First of all, I have a leak in my ceiling. And the leak almost destroyed my auto harp. Oh no. And then also I have to pay for my musical equipment expenses and my YouTube, my my, my webcam, uh, the lighting. Actually, I have to upgrade my lighting soon because I love this, but I've had it for a while and it just takes up so much space. In fact, my lights there are blocking the door, which is a fire hazard. So I'm going to get some LED lighting, LED panel lighting, so I can have more room, more space. And even though YouTube is a free platform, it costs money to create quality content. And what I would like to do is improve the quality of my content for y'all because you are my audience and I really appreciate it. So when you give that even a dollar on Patreon, you won't believe what, what, what difference that little extra money makes at the end of the month. So thank you so much, folks. And if you go to my Patreon, uh, depending on what tier level you are, you will get three, MP3, three MP3s, mer Meat Skelton merchandise, including autograph records and clothing won't that be exciting and, and, and your friends will be so jealous <laughs> Ooh. so I I even have a fan way over in France a 16 year old girl in France um, who uh, who's supporting me so that means a lot to me so thank you all so much go to my patreon and uh, help help your boy out and, and help me make better co quality content uh, because I am a content creator mm -hmm. and I need uh, I need that extra extra money to help make it better let's talk about Christmas well we still are in Christmas tide believe it or not even though according to the secular world Christmas is long gone you know I'm working working in retail at the Christmas tree shops and even before Christmas Eve uh, they had taken a lot of the Christmas stuff down and we're putting up uh, St. Patrick's Day holiday <laughs> displays and 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 Valentine's Day ooh, uh, uh, and and summertime so yes that's the way it works I I think that's the reason why people get so depressed this time of year not just because they've lost loved ones and are missing family members but also because they feel so rush 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 rushed and they miss the real meaning of Christmas they're in the secular and the secular world Christmas starts the day after Thanksgiving and by the 25th we're done with it and everyone says where Christmas go where Christmas go well it's still here the real Christmas so and the church we call the days leading up to Christmas we call that Advent which is the preparation time no not like preparation age <laughs> it's the preparation time when we're getting ready for the beautiful miracle birth of Jesus and the gift of the world so Christmas is actually about a miracle that's why we celebrate it it's commem comm commemorate the miracle birth of Jesus which was a miracle indeed born of a virgin and sent by God to save us from our sins fulfilled prophecy and so a lot of people argue, even Christians say, well, um, you know, Christmas is a pagan holiday. We know that's not true. What would give Satan more joy than for Christians to stop celebrating Christmas? It's the only time of the year when, they, with, when Christianity spills out into the, most of the secular, because even people very secular are being exposed to Christian music, Christian songs, Christmas songs. Um, even, you know, even the secular Christmas is still based based loosely on St. Nicholas, who was a Christian, and now Santa Claus, you know, and even, you know, I'll Be Home for Christmas, um, songs I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas may not seem Christian to you, but they do have that, that, uh, that feeling of, of endearment and, and what the season is all about, you know, and, and, and uh, something special. Why are you going home for Christmas? Uh, because it's something significant. Well, what was that significance? It was the birth of Jesus. So let's take a look at why there are 12 days of Christmas. Uh, so this is the real Christmas we're in. Um, not the fake stuff, but 12 days of Christmas are 12 feast days. Now, um, I don't know, not all Christians actually observe 12 days of Christmas. I think, 
you know, may, mo mostly, I definitely know the Catholics do, and even some of the Baptists and most Protestants, but not everyone, but most Christians uh, are in Christmas tide on the church calendar. So the first day of Christmas is a big day. That's Jesus' birthday. We know that. Uh, the second day of Christmas is St. Stephen's Day. You know the song, Good King Winchless first looked out on the feast of Stephen. You know that one? Well, that is uh, Good King Winchless uh, based on the feast of Stephen, of course. Uh, day three is St. John the Apostle. He was one of Jesus' disciples and friends. Day four is the, holy fe the Feast of the Holy Innocents when people remember the baby boys which King Herod killed when he was trying to find and kill the baby Jesus. That's a little bit somber. <laughs> day five is St. Thomas Becket. He was the Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, day seven is New Year's Eve. Known as Hogmanay in Scotland, Pope Sylvester is traditionally celebrated on this day. He was one of the earliest popes in the 4th century in many Central and Eastern European countries. Ah, New Year's Eve is still some, sometimes called Sylvester. And the UK New Year's Eve was a traditional day for games and sporting competitions. Now it's just a time to get drunk, right? And sleep with a bunch of different people. But according to this, it was a very special day. Uh, January 1st, uh, day 8, the 8th day of Christmas is uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus' day. Day 9 is St. Basil the Great and Gregory Nazanzen. Two important 4th century Christians. Day 10 is the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus. This remembers when Jesus was officially named in the Jewish temple. It's celebrated by different churches on a wide number of different dates. Day 11 is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, an American saint. And Day 12 is St. John Newman, who is first Bishop American. He lived in the 19th century. Now, Twelfth Night is a big celebration where people have a lot of parties. This is when we get ready to take down our Christmas decorations. Now, I always, I don't leave my Christmas decorations up all year long. I know we always say, oh, I wish every day were like Christmas. But if every day were like Christmas, we wouldn't appreciate the Christmas season, right? So I take all my decorations down on January 6th, nary a trace of Christmas, so that I can appreciate it when it comes. Because to every every year is a season, just like our lives are in different seasons, and every day is a different day. So I like to make sure that Christmas is over. Uh, so many people used to do parties. Now, in our American tradition, sadly, here in the United States, a lot of these traditions have been canceled. Uh, we no longer do Twelfth Night here. Um, we don't do Twelve Days of Christmas. So we've lost, we've lost the real spirit of Christmas, that Christmas magic, and replaced it with greedy commercialism. Now, I'm 100% capitalist, but I don't think that, I do think that there's a letdown when we get so focused on, you know, you know, getting deals on Amazon.com and, and uh, you know, what can we, you know, giving someone a gift card with a short little message. I mean, that's okay, but do we really, are we really experiencing the true meaning of Christmas? I think that's why so many people get depressed. Now, this Christmas, I, I will tell you, I was a little bit depressed this Christmas Eve because I couldn't go to church. Um, the only church open was really the Catholic Church. And I didn't want to go there. So I, and I didn't want to go to church having to wear a mask. I don't want to remember church as wearing a mask. I'm not going into church with a mask on. So what I did was I lit a candle and I sat by the radio on Christmas Eve and listened to the nativity story on the radio. And I just, it was so uplifting, so deep and spiritual. I just felt that, well, it was just a very wonderful experience. It was just a I was immersed in that magic, and I have my tree lit up with little, uh, I have these little electric candles that flicker. It was just so, it was so Christmassy and so wonderful, so magical, and I think I really experienced it on a deeper level than had I, if I'd just gone to church or, you know, even watched um, uh, <laughs> The Grinch Stole Christmas um, um, on my DVD player, I don't think I would have this same level of appreciation. So I think if we get into Christmas tide, um, all the 12 days of Christmas, uh, we sort of see that, you know, that one time of year when everything slows down and we take a break and we observe the 12 days of Christmas. Now, was Jesus born on December 25th? That's a lot of people wonder that. And I think it doesn't really matter per se because 
Uh, well, there is a good chance he could have been. Everyone argues that it had to be the spring because of the shepherds and, and the you know, positions of the, I don't know, the stars and everything. But I don't think that's true. I think this people, some people say to be contrary. Now, a lot of atheists don't want to accept the divinity of Jesus. Uh, that's why they don't want they, that's why they rather say Christmas is a pagan holiday so they don't have to admit that it is a Christian celebration um, but that's why you know if you wish someone a Merry Christmas even even Christians if you wish them a Merry Christmas after December 25th they'll like uh, they'll look at you funny and say uh, Christmas is over but no it is not we are in the midst of Christmas right now so this is your opportunity this is your opportunity to rediscover Christmas to get into the Holy Word to read the chapter of Luke to experience uh, Christmas tide for yourself and to um, and to be blessed you know this wonderful holy day season um, now there are a lot of explanations as to why we no longer really celebrate 12 days of Christmas at least here in the United States part of that has to do with the popularity of Santa Claus now Santa Claus was based on Saint Nicholas but the you know the tradition has that he delivers presents on Christmas Day and that's it um, he doesn't do it 12 days right so, and then another thing is Charles Dickinson's tale of Christmas Carol, where it describes Christmas as being one day of the year, and he has this change in his heart on the on Christmas Day, instead of Christmas season. Um, but other than that, there are twelve days of Christmas, and we do observe them in the Christian Church. And I think if you get into the real spirit of Christmas, you won't be as depressed. You won't be as you won't feel that letdown. Oh, Christmas is over. Christmas is over because. Uh, because it isn't over for 12 days and and uh, that's that's the problem is we just rush 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 and we miss the real timing of everything you know timing is everything God has a timing to everything you know and that's why we have the 12 days to Christmas and um, probably coincides also with the arrival of the Magi you know because it might take them a couple weeks to get over there to the manger you know so I think that um, that's, I just want to explain why we have 12 days of Christmas and if you're having those Christmas blues, which I know we all get, um, if you look a little deeper, you know, if you get, get, a, get below the superficiality of it all, you will find that special place and that special meaning of Christmas and that it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful story that it needs to be told, it needs to be heard. And here we are, you know, removing all the nativity scenes because separation of church and state. Um, you know, uh, you can't uh, say Merry Christmas in, in a store. Do people see the irony of that? Because if we really have separation of church and state, that would mean that you can say Merry Christmas because the, the state has no bearing over whether you can or not. And, uh, and you can put up dis nativity scenes because because the state is not, you know, d declaring that one way or the other, but they they take that to mean no Christmas, no Christmas, and I think that's very sad, and that's why a lot of people get depressed. So anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope y'all are enjoying your Christmas. Now I just want to show y'all the cake we got. Um, this was a lovely cake we got from Kroger's Bakery. Yeah, Kroger. No, no, not Kroger's. I'm sorry. Bite my tongue. Bite my tongue. Publix Bakery. I asked them to make. Uh, I asked them to make a birthday cake for Jesus, and this is what it looks like. Happy birthday, Jesus! It was very delicious buttercream cake. Oh, I'll show you all my Christmas tree too while we're here. Yeah, I put up a Christmas tree, and of course, yeah, Christmas tree. Um, with uh, there we go. Yep. And oh, and let me show you all my cow sweater. <laughs> my cow sweater is something I adore because, um, uh, of course, I was the cow mascot at Chick Fil A, so I put that on this year. And um, yeah, I took my picture with it. Yay! So there we are, cow sweater. Merry cow miss. No. <laughs> uh, so anyway, folks. Um, Merry Christmas. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be white <laughs> we know <laughs> we know uh so have a blessed blessed christmas time and i will see y'all soon go to my website meetscoutsplace.com bye